Hi everyone, I'm Yashika. I just wanted to come on and talk to you a little bit about a certain topic that's been on my mind. For those of you that don't know who I am, I am the CEO and founder of Yashika's Intuition and I strongly and firmly believe in women having spiritual tools at their disposal as well as personal development tools at their disposal because I feel like if you can set that spiritual foundation for yourself and then learn how to also practically apply personal development things, you are able to better leverage your power and lead a more successful life. I'm living proof that you have to get that spiritual foundation in place and then anything that you want after that will manifest for you. What I wanted to talk to you about today was fear and just a real brief message because I'm in between things. But what I've noticed is that a lot of people allow fear to paralyze them and Fear is a very useful emotion. It's a very useful feeling. It's a very useful tool. It's an emotional, physical, psychological response to a threat. And when we are in danger, it's what helps us either fight to get out of danger or flight, run away from harm's way. But what's been happening in society is that because we are a pretty safe culture, especially if you live in a developed middle class or above area, you really don't have many real threats to your safety. You really don't have real dangers to your livelihood. But there's a lot of things that go on through our conditioning, through society, through the media that would have us to believe that there are a lot of things out, out here that we should fear. And so we start to develop these fears that I would call irrational. And the reason why they're irrational is because we start to get scared to take chances on ourselves or do things, um, but we're not in any danger. There's no threat to our safety, etc. And what I've noticed with a lot of my clients is that they feel like people that actually take risks are people that don't feel fear. And they are very shocked to learn that the people that are risk takers or the people that put themselves out there for growth, opportunity, development are just as scared as you are when you need to put yourself out there. But the only difference is when you are faced with two choices, fight or flight, most people choose flight. They don't want to fight for what they want. They don't want to take those big risks that they need to take in order to get those big rewards or those big wins. And so when they look at the people that are willing to do that, they automatically think that people, the brave, um, the brave souls that actually fight don't feel fear. Another misconception that I see with my clients a lot of times is that they expect that the fear will diminish and it doesn't. Every time I'm stepping out into a new realm, a new um, area of growth for myself, new opportunities, new situations, it could be something that I've already done before, but maybe the situation or the environment is new. There's always that fear there. And so I think people wait for that to go away or think that it will dissipate before they need to take action when that is not the case. What allows that fear to slowly dissipate until you go to the next challenge is actually stepping up to that fear and conquering it. And the only way that you do that is to look your fears in the face and, and um, deal with them head on. If you want to be someone that has big dreams that they want to accomplish. If you are someone that is not happy with where you are in life, if you're someone that wants to grow and wants to continuously expand your horizon, your life, your mission, step into your purpose, you are going to continually be challenged to do things that stretch you, that cause friction, that cause growth. And in those things, because you're always stepping into new realms to grow and to learn and to become better, there comes fear, there comes anxiety. But what I would have you to ask yourself is, are you in any danger? Is there something that is immediately threatening you that you wouldn't be able to deal with if it came up? And if you are not in that situation, then no matter what, you need to take the first step. You don't need to take the whole step. You don't need to overwhelm yourself with everything that you need to do to make this opportunity or this chance 
or this period of learning or growth. You don't need to know everything that you need to do to make, make it successful. All you need to do is worry about taking the first step forward. By taking the first step forward, you are fighting your your my are your blocks you're fighting your psychological physiological responses to irrational fears that will never go away that we always have to deal with and by fighting you learn that you start to conquer things and as you conquer things you start to gain more self-confidence and self-belief and self-respect and self-image and your ability to be able to conquer challenges when you are faced with them See, successful people are not looking for uh, an opportunity where fear dissipates and they start to feel better and they start to feel more brave. What successful people do is they rise to an occasion and by rising to that occasion and staring fear in the face and, and working on conquering a fear, they learn that yes, they may not have all the skills that they need. Yes, they may have never been in this situation before. Yes, it may seem risky. Um, they may not know what to do. They may not know how it will turn out. But what they do believe in is their ability to rebound if things don't go as planned or to be resourceful and just figure that shit out. So that is my short little message for you for today. We could talk about fear forever, but I just wanted to put that out there because I'm starting to hear a lot of things from my clients. I think a lot of us are being called to stretch and grow and to step more into our purpose. And with that comes fear. That's not going to go away. So you have to make the choice about really who you really want to become to who you really want to become. And once you make the decision about who you really want to become, I'm hoping that you're going to choose to fight for what, what it is you believe in and what it is that you dream about. And if you are a fighter, then that means that you don't get to shrink away. You don't get to make a million excuses about what you don't know, what you need to learn, why things are not being not um, successful for you or, or any obstacles and roadblocks. All these excuses that you can come up with for why you are not just taking a step forward to conquer your fear, those will go away. You just need to figure out what kind of person are you going to be? And if you're going to be a person that um, goes for your opportunities and goes for your dreams, you're going to always feel this way. But the bottom line is, are you going to be brave and fight for what you want or are you going to run away? All right. So before I close this out, I want to let you know that I, I'm always putting valuable lessons like these. They're a little bit more meaty, though. Sometimes they come with workbooks in my Facebook group. So if you want more lessons on how you can succeed in your life, both on a spiritual realm but also on a practical personal development realm, then I invite you to come over to the Facebook group and join us. I will leave the link in the description of this video and I hope I see you in the group. All right, take care. Bye.